In today's video, we're going to take a deeper look at NLE Choppa and why other rappers are scared and stay away from the infamous rapper. If that sounds interesting, then make sure to stick around till the end of the video. Interact with us, subscribe, and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks. So, why rappers are really scared of NLE Choppa? So, it may sound strange to say that other rappers are scared of rapper NLE Choppa, but when we say this, we don't really mean scared in the sense that they are shaking in their boots. Rather, that they are steering clear of NLE as he really has some strange and off-the-cuff beliefs which he displays occasionally through his actions. Many of these beliefs are very controversial and go against what the majority think. So, let's delve into some of the bizarre things that NLE Nelly Choppa has been preaching and stating that has left other rappers steering clear of him. Recently, NLE Choppa shared his thoughts on the situation that went down with DeBaby. If you weren't already aware, DeBaby has been chastised for making homophobic remarks on stage at the Rolling Loud Miami Music Festival over the weekend. The rapper stood on stage and said this to thousands of fans. If you didn't show up today with HIV AIDS, any of them deadly transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two or three weeks, put your cell phone light in the air. Unfortunately, we cannot say the rest as it is too disgusting for YouTube, but it was very offensive to both women and the LGBT plus community. As you can imagine, this surprised everyone, and plenty of celebs and rappers took to their social media to share their thoughts on the situation. Elton John was one of the first celebrities to speak out in an attempt to hold DeBaby accountable for the impact of his statements on stage. He moved to social media to declare that DeBaby's words are fueling stigma and discrimination, and that his remarks work against the LGBTQ community's progress. Demi Lovato, who recently came out as non-binary, took to social media with a short and quick statement that got DeBaby square in the pocketbook. Following his homophobic outbursts, Lovato nonchalantly encouraged people to listen to the original version of Dua Lipa's song, which would reduce his revenues drastically. Regardless of all the backlash DeBaby was receiving after his shocking statement, NLE Choppa came to his defense which surprised many. NLE Choppa feels that despite many people having different opinions about the baby following the offensive comments the North Carolina rapper made during his Rolling Loud Miami performance last month, Baby will be able to come out of this situation and continue to amass success. Last night, August 3rd, the Memphis bred rapper sent a tweet which said, "The baby gone come out bigger than ever while y'all trying to downplay the man." He then responded to a fan who felt the baby's statements were still upsetting, claiming he didn't believe Baby intended for his comments to injure anyone. Fans rapidly reacted to NLE Choppa, holding DeBaby accountable for his behavior, which hurt the LGBTQ plus community, persons living with HIV AIDS, and others. See, NLE Choppa shut up. That stuff he said was still disrespectful and insensitive, one fan told the rapper. NLE Choppa retorted, claiming that DeBaby is a human who isn't immune to making mistakes. He said, I didn't say it was, but not everybody acting like we ain't human. If y'all think bruh said what he said, with the intent to hurt somebody, y'all delusional. It's comedians saying worse shit than what Bruh said. Another reason a lot of rappers don't associate with the rapper is because of his strange beliefs and claims he makes, especially when it comes to herbal alternative medicine. Since discovering meditation, NLE Choppa has embraced a healthier lifestyle, and he has even quit rapping about violence, or so he says. He now argues that his decisions are unwittingly benefiting others. The 18-year-old rapper resorted to Twitter on Wednesday Wednesday, June 9th, to declare that an herbal combination he advocated had lately been discovered to have cured someone of cancer. The rapper claimed that a plant-based diet and herbs helped him heal a woman's cancer. Wow, man, just was informed I helped cure someone from cancer. This major to me, the rapper tweeted out. He revealed how the patient was purportedly treated after receiving reactions from several admirers over the accuracy of his assertion. On Thursday, he tweeted, It's hilarious because some people believe I'm lying, which is natural, but that's nowhere near the situation. It's easy to cure disease. All you need is a meatless, dairy-free, sugar-free diet. Herbs, sea mosses, black seed, neem, and other herbs can be implanted. My mugwort had made its way into her diet. He then tweeted a link to his store, which sells sea moss, chlorophyll, detox tea, mugwort, rosemary, and incense, among other things. He wrote, I don't just sell these products to sell them. I understand the impact and the harm they may have to the mind, body, and spirit. I've treated allergic response 
responses in my own home, helped Unk with diabetes, and now I'm dealing with cancer. We are beyond fortunate to be here to assist and heal. Chapa seems to recognize that it's difficult to comprehend how an 18-year-old boy with no medical training was able to defeat cancer. As a result, he emphasized that he isn't just another modern-day Memphis snake oil seller. He described the simple procedure and shared a personal story of how the plants aided his uncle's diabetes battle. Since converting to veganism last summer, he has been advocating for a better lifestyle. He spoke to The Beat earlier this year about what prompted him to switch to a plant-based diet. I meditate a lot, and when I was in the beginning stages of meditation, I peeped how my body would react when I would put certain things in it, he said. So, let's say I meditate for 30 minutes and come out of the meditation with energy. Now I go eat some chicken or a burger or some shit, and I get back to being tired. Or my mindset gets back to the state of mind I was in before I meditated. So, as I started to peep my body, realize how my body was reacting to certain foods, I told myself I had to go cold turkey. I just cut out meat completely. The Memphis rapper added, I found the nearest vegan place in Atlanta, and after that, I've been vegan ever since. Despite all of the intense criticism, as you can imagine, and Ali Chapa appears to know who he is and how powerful his influence is. I'm really a rapper and an herbalist, only rapper to ever sell healing herbs to help they people, and at the same time, balance putting music out. That's huge in my eyes, and I feel it can be world-changing, he stated. As you can imagine, this did not go down well with many as he did make such huge claims. Many believe the rapper is a bit delusional and off the rails when it comes to his insane statements and claims. Including his radical views and beliefs, NLE Chapa also has a bit of a criminal history that is still quite fresh. NLE Chapa was incarcerated in a juvenile correctional center for an unspecified period of time. He has never specified what he was arrested for, but he has maintained that his experience in jail inspired him to change his life. He remarked that being in detention helped him a lot and was an eye-opener in an episode of his YouTube series, The Rise of NLE Chapa. NLE Chapa was then arrested for burglary, drug possession, and firearm possession on March 29th, 2021. Over the popular Spot'em Got'em's beatbox beat, he recorded a freestyle titled First Day Out. And Ellie Chapa and his gang were involved in a fight in Santa Monica, California on May 3rd, 2021. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about why rappers are staying away from NLE Chapa and all of his insane statements and views. He's definitely different from the average rapper, which makes him unique and interesting, but also an outsider when it comes to the rap community. We would love to hear what you think about the rapper. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.